Hey guys, I already solved this one once. I did this method where we just played around with the exponents, but so many people wanted to see it done with the logarithms. So let's do it. First, let's copy down the given equations. And then for both of the equations, I'm gonna take the logarithm of both sides. One of the properties of logarithms is that this exponent can be brought down in front. And same thing for this exponent down here. Now log three is a number, so we can divide both sides by log three. And we can do the same thing down here, divide both sides by log 23. This log three over log three will cancel out. And so now we know x equals log 69 over log three. And the same thing here, log 23 over log 23 cancels out. And we now know that y is equal to log 69 over log 23. So let's move these up here and let's work on this. First, I wanna look at one over x. 1 over x ultimately means the reciprocal of x. So instead of log 69 over log 3, we can rewrite it as log 3 over log 69. And 1 over y is the reciprocal of y, so we can write that as log 23 over log 69. So now let's evaluate 1 over x plus 1 over y. 1 over x is this log 3 over log 69 plus, and then 1 over y is going to be log 23 over log 69. So now we have a rational expression. We're adding these together. Since the denominators match, we can write it as a single fraction. And now we get to use another rule of logarithms. The log of a plus the log of b is equal to the logarithm of the quantity a times b. So in this case, log of 3 plus log of 23 is going to be equal to log of 3 times 23. And inside these parentheses, 3 times 23 is 69. And log of 69 over log of 69 is going to be equal to 1. So this thing we were looking for is equal to 1. And we put a box around it. How exciting.